Hello, my name is Jane Pierce. My business is Tarot Jane, and I'm here to talk to you about astrology, specifically Kazemis. Kazemis are when a planet meets up with the sun. Pretty simple. But if that name kind of gives you a little thrill to say Kazemi, then you've got an idea already of what a Kazemi is like. Kind of like Shazam gives you superpowers. Kazemi, when a planet meets up with the sun, gives you supercharges that planet's gifts. And we've got a real special Kazemi coming up. We have a lot of Mercury Kazemis, times when we desperately need that insight or that ability to speak powerfully. But this particular Mercury Kazemi is super special because we don't just have one Kazemi, we have two. Saturn is also having its Kazemi on February 28th, and you are going to have a really great opportunity. Saturn's Kazemi is usually a clarity. It's a little bit more somber, but it brings a clarity about our timing and our commitments, what we want long term, what we are willing to work hard for. Saturn is a planet that gives us the ability to have long term efforts and steady, deliberate work to achieve a goal that might seem impossible and certainly seems far, far away. When we have this opportunity to have the Saturn Kazemi and Mercury Kazemi together, we've got some great opportunities. Specifically, we've got a chance to put into words and to wrap our thinking around what it is we want long term. You can look at this as an opportunity to make a promise to yourself, to set a goal, to achieve something. But let me tell you how to work with that at its best. Mercury is not so happy in Pisces, and that's where this is all happening. The Sun, the Mercury, and Saturn are meeting up in Pisces. And Pisces is a land of dreams. It's mutable water, and it's very good at sacrificing and spirituality and seeing both sides, or more importantly, feeling both sides of any situation. So consider that Pisces energy to be engulfing water and inviting you to have clarity through some of this cloudiness, to have a clarity of thought amidst swirling emotions, to have a clarity of thought and purpose and destination in the midst of so many, many dreams. Because when we start to think about what's possible, there's an infinite amount of possibilities. The gift we have is to pick which possibilities, which dreams, which goals are the best for us, are the ones we want to invest in, what's going to serve us better. And because Mercury is not at its best in Pisces, the words get lost in dreamy things. Mercury does much better with poetry or art when it's in Pisces than it does with clear, straight up communication. You may want to find a symbol a song, a phrase that represents this your goal. It could be, I will survive. It could be a picture of a house you want someday to be in. You could be like me and have a picture of a beautiful town on the coast of the Mediterranean that someday you want to go to. If that's what motivates you, find it. And then know that this Kazemi on Wednesday, February 28th is the time to set that goal because you can achieve it with the energy we have today. And let me be honest, you're going to need this positive, determined energy, your focus and clear goal. We've got a little bit of a rough time coming up for Pisces. You see, Saturn has been in Pisces for almost a year now. It went in last March, and it is slowly marching along like Saturn does to meet Neptune at the end of Pisces. And Saturn meeting Neptune is going to dissolve a lot of boundaries. It may confuse us as they get closer. And we've got an opportunity, not that they're going to meet this year, but they will come as close as they can do be within 10 degrees this year before their retrogrades start to separate them. So before the confusion comes into Saturn, when it meets Neptune and the boundaries all get dissolved, you've got an opportunity of a clear and well pictured, well conceived goal, and you're going to want it. 
Let me tell you one other problem coming up for Pisces that's a lot closer. That is Mars is coming into Pisces very soon. And on the 10th of April, Mars will meet up with Saturn. And when the greater malefic and the lesser malefic come together, we can have a lot of trouble. Saturn's the greater malefic, and it's the long-term pain, but also the long-term pruning that brings us light. Mars, the lesser malefic, is quick, hot, short pain. It is what takes something away suddenly. Some people describe them as Saturn is chronic, Mars is acute. But either way, when they come together, we're struggling with the cold and the hot, with the chronic and the acute, with the slow and the fast, with the forever long term and the quick and patient now. And that energy that comes on April 10th could be challenging for all of us because it comes really close to the eclipse that's going to happen. The great American eclipse we'll all get to witness has got some rough energy around it. So I'm going to urge you to use this Kazemi and Pisces with Saturn so well aspected and the gift of Mercury there with it to set the stage to help you when the coming weeks and months that you'll need this clarity, this focus, and this purpose. Find your anchor. It's got to be a phrase or a picture or a song, something that speaks to art and deeper into your emotions because Pisces rules emotions and Mercury wants to have pretty words. But right now we need powerful poetic words. Find that anchor for this Kazemi and you'll have the touchstone you need to get through some of the bumps that are coming ahead. I look forward to talking to you soon. Check out some of my other videos. Smash, subscribe, and like. And I hope you have a wonderful day with a clear, powerful goal of what you want to come.